Hi guys, namaste. So it has been a few months and I have not made a video. I honestly didn't think that I was going to anymore, but I have finally <laughs> come back to myself and realizing that these are more for me. I hope that the experiences, if you guys are, are watching, that you're gaining something from it as well. Um, so I wanted to come clean first thing first. I did try smoking weed. It did not work for me. If it works for you, that is awesome. I am still a huge advocate. I think it's amazing. I believe in it because it is a plant. I do believe um, if it's organic, <laughs> like that's just my, that's for me. I um, that's just my experience, my perception of it. Um, I have no idea of what I smoked, if it was organic or not, I have no clue, um, but it did not work for me. It made me overthink more than I already do, which I don't like. I need to calm myself in um, overthinking. I am much happier just being altruistic to myself and organic and not having anything in my system. I uh, realize that for me what works is knowing that the only way out is through and I have to deal with these things. And I do believe that I was trying to smoke to get outside of my experience um, because at that time and moment, I was dealing with um, relationships that I believe I was trying to tell myself that I felt differently or that I, I could feel differently about it. Like I had shared before that I was trying to live a poly lifestyle. And I can't say that I feel like I completely divulged in the experience, but from the bit that I did, I can't say that I that I enjoyed it. I believe on my part, yes. I believe on the other side, it was just complicated and messy. And for me, that is my life. My life has been chaos and a mess and just heightened. And I'm going to continue to entertain that if I live in this poly lifestyle, at least that's how I was seeing things. Um, of course, it's and it's not all it's cracked up to be. Um, it's great to have that openness and completely feel like you can trust somebody because you're telling each other some things, but then there's feelings that are involved and you're not, it's not just your feelings, it's their feelings. It's also, it's also these other people's feelings. Like you're just adding so much more to the experience. Um, so for me, it just wasn't something at this time and moment that I feel like was working for me. I'm, proud of myself that I got out of it and I'm proud of myself that I took a step back outside of what I was trying to tell myself that it was and that I took a stand for myself and realizing that I do deserve more and that I do deserve to be with somebody and alone and maybe we want to experience that uh, later on and uh, down the road um, but just took myself outside of these toxic relationships um, I have started dating monogamously and that's difficult. Um, this is the healthiest relationship that I've ever been in and the fact that it's not someone who's married or somebody who has addiction problems. Um, but it's also scary because we come from two opposite sides of the track and trying to get like bridge a gap and making this work and realizing that I've created habits for myself over the, the last several years and working on getting outside of those, not trying to push people away anymore. Because um, I am, I mean, scared of like uncertainty, like this person could hurt me, I could completely give myself to them and then they could hurt me. But they could also not. <laughs> so I need to, it's better to have loved and have lost than to have never loved at all. And they need to experience that or I'm literally just going to be by myself for the rest of my life. And that's okay too if that's what I choose to do but I know that that deep in my heart that's not what I want and I do want to be I would love to have a wife and and traveling and doing things together and building a life and a family together so uh, I see the growth that, the growth that I've made I um, in even with me smoking weed I don't see that as a relapse I see it as um, just an experience and seeing what works for me and what doesn't and just realizing that I was trying to step outside of myself and realizing that the only way out is through and I have to deal with these issues in myself and in, in being more mindful and aware of who I am and staying in this, in this moment. 
there's only so much that I have control over and that's only with myself. So I need to know that things are only temporary. Life is temporary. My experiences are temporary. Even thinking just three months ago, I was entertaining poly relationships and not happy. And now I am getting back to myself and realizing like, this is what makes me happy. It's focusing on the things that I want and need in my life and, and having healthy, organic um, communication and, and love for myself and knowing that like I need to have myself and be standing next to somebody that relationships aren't about completely divulging and cutting yourself dry and bleeding yourself out to be with somebody um, and realizing that it's it's wild I've um, I'm very thankful and how much that I've grown in that because I don't think that I could have ever entertained a healthy relationship up until now and um with even that being said, the stress, I've had a lot of stress going on. And another reason why I haven't um, made a video, um, so I don't know if you can see, you can't really tell, it's not as bad. Um, but I had just been diagnosed with a rare eye disorder. It's called Coates disease. So I've been losing eyesight in this eye for probably like two years and I ignored it. I am definitely the type of person who is terrified of doctors. I've been misdiagnosed twice with certain things and like sent home to die. So I get scared and nervous with doctors and I just try to brush things off that it's not that big of a deal. Cause if I'm going to die, I'm just going to die. <laughs> um, so it started off with me seeing like flurries and somebody told me that that was normal. It would be normal if it was in both eyes or if it was something that I was a common to when I was younger, but if it just happens, it's not normal. So I ended up going to the doctor trying to see what was going on. Cause I then started to lose peripheral vision in this eye. Like, so picture isn't all there like there's a piece that's missing from this side um, so I went to the doctor and they told me it was either a malignant tumor or this rare um, eye disorder called Coats disease which is like a, a swelling of the eye blood vessels um, that causes you to lose eyesight so luckily it is Coats disease unfortunately though it is something that can be progressive and I can lose my eyesight so of course, another thing that I was trying to lie to myself and tell myself it's not that big of a deal, it's okay, like it's just my eye, like it's not, it's a small organism in my body, blah, blah, blah. It's really not. I mean, I had 20-20 vision and now I have maybe got 80% eyesight in this eye. It um, is something that I'm going to have to keep on top of. I could eventually lose my entire eye, um, but that's just a small chance. It's something that I have to take. So. It was terrifying. I've had to have laser treatment and cryogenic and it's been extremely stressful telling me how painful it's going to be in these experiences. And I missed a week of work. Like I couldn't, I could not see out of this eye barely. Um, my eye was swollen and red and disgusting. And uh, so realizing all this stuff and just like calming to realize like this is temporary, live inside the moment for right now. And that I, maybe I might lose eyesight in this eye. Maybe things don't work out between me and this girl. Maybe I don't have tomorrow, but just to stay in this moment and enjoy what I can and trying to remind myself and to center myself each day. And I think that's so important because we allow ourselves to get so clouded with our mind and how wild this thing is. I mean, the, like it's a computer system that is just processing new things all the time at every given moment. So just like reminding myself to, to meditate and to be mindful and to be aware of like what's happening in this moment right now. So that's really all for me. And I hope that you guys are all living a happy and sober life and continue to watch me. Hopefully I'll be making more videos. I know I said that the last one, so I don't really know, but that's all I got for now. Namaste sober and I hope you do too.